But there's also another reference in the in Surah Al Kaf to a young one. Is your name Masabo? <laughs> <laughs> No, okay. <laughs> Who will that say? That's right. That's right. Khidr alayhi salam killed the boy. He killed the boy. And explained it to Musa alayhi salam afterwards <laughs> that this young man had parents who had faith in Allah. But his belief and conduct was such that it posed a threat to his own parents. It is not that the parents were trying to change their son and incrementally making some progress and getting him to come back to the right path. So don't give up on him. It was the other way around, that in the end times, you can lose your children in such a way that it is not only a hopeless cause to bring them back to the path of Islam and to the sunnah of the Prophet but more than that that your young ones are going to pose a threat to you and your faith and therefore to the faith of the society. That the young ones are going to demolish your faith-based society. The ambassador is shaking his head because he knows what's happening in Malaysia. That's happening in Malaysia now. That you spend all these generations building a society on values that come from Allah. And then within a generation or two, a strange and mysterious disease takes over the young ones. And you not only lose them, they not only join the blue jeans Jamaat, but they now pose a threat to the society faith, based on faith in Allah. Hmm. So Surah al Kaf is doing a wonderful job here in introducing us to the modern age and in warning us of what to expect in the modern age. The, if you um, were not here when I spoke about a cup of tea that my wife Aisha is going to make, then you can answer the question. But if you were here at that time, don't answer because you already know the answer. Okay? When the retreat began, I said, I have a challenge for you. I want to know what is the connection between Surat al Kaf and the experience of the local Muslim community in Simon's town. Is there any connection between the two? Who would like to answer that question? Uh, we, we, this is the second cup. You can do the first cup, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the second cup of tea that I shall have to make, if you answer it correctly. Anyone? Yes? There is a connection between Surah al something in Surah al of the Quran, and the experience of the local Muslim community in Simon's Town. Not just Simon's Town, but also in South Africa and so on, in Cape Town. But because we are here in Simon's Town, we choose Simon's Town. What is it? Yes? What did he say? 
in the rich and the poor. The difference between the rich man and the poor man. Simon's time. No, that's not the answer we're looking for. Anyone else? Is it about hospitality? Yes. It's about the young man, uh, which is mentioned in the... The young man? The, 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 a few young men uh -huh. who uh, uh, go to the camp. They went to the cave? Yeah. yeah. No, that's not the answer. Yes? A naval base in Simon's town. Yeah, no, that's not the answer. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The two seas coming together. No, that's not the answer. We are so fortunate, huh? <laughs> to have a whole class pursuing PhDs in sophisticated <laughs> guesswork. <laughs> yes, sisters, come on, yes. They were being neglected by the, the, by the society and they were pushed to a side and the same is happening with the Muslim community here. This is Aisha, I think. Yeah, no, I know Aisha now. No, that's not the answer. Good. No? You don't want a cup of tea from my wife Aisha? <laughs> yes. Yes, another? Uh -huh. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. That is like uh, um, when uh, Musa and Hitler and Islam, they um, made a wall mm -hmm. and they didn't give them to. Nah, the wall, they built the wall. That's not the answer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I want something, I don't want the word land, I want something else. Go ahead, come on. No, Surah Tulkam, go ahead. Um, yeah. Yeah. Look at them, they don't like Aisha's tea. <laughs> you don't drink tea, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have, we have, she, we have Shekhali Mustafa's wife here, Karima. So she'll make you Moroccan coffee. <laughs> Yes. Are you going to between the two mountain passes? No. No. I'm very sure they're allowing the intruders of the Dajjal to take over and the serpent here that they're taking over from there. That's what I want to do. No. Yes? With regards to you said Dajjal will be in every city and every town and not the villages. Simon Town is a town. Yes. It's a town. Yeah. We should locate us afterwards by you just instead. Okay, no, that's not the answer. Yes? Very imaginative, eh? <laughs> Very imaginative. I wish I could record all of these answers. Yes. Very imaginative answers I'm getting here. This class has the imagination in it, yes? Anybody else? <laughs> did, did, did the local community kill the boy? Huh? <laughs> kill the boy. Kill the boy. No, that's not the answer, yes? This is the known area and the... Uh, no, 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 no. Next, next one. <laughs> the answer is in the story of Musa alayhi salam and Khidr alayhi salam. The, yes, but you were here, so you were here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You were here? Yes, he was here. You were not here? All right, all right, we give him a chance. Go ahead, let me hear you. If you give the, even the right answer, and you're already here, you know, 25 minutes here. Yeah? All right, go ahead, let me hear you. <laughs> what is the tea you had? <laughs> let's hear you, Masabo, come on. I don't know if I was feeling but... All right, let's hear you. Never mind. The appearance and the reality are opposite. Appearance and reality are opposite to each other in Simon's tongue. Good try. Good try, my son. Good try. 
Yes, that's very correct, yeah? No, no, it is in the story of Musa alayhi salam and Khidr alayhi salam, where the poor people had a boat, a boat, and an oppressive power came and seized their boat. All their boats were being seized. And you had a Muslim community here in Simon's town, which was not wealthy, they were fishermen, most of them. And they had their houses right around the bay here. And an oppressive government came, a wicked government came and seized their boats, meaning their houses. And today they look at the spot, this is where my house was, that is where he lived, that is where he lived. They can see it. But it's been seized from them, and they can't get it back. So Surah al kaf comes to give some comfort to such people whose hearts are still bleeding. Only twelve families now remain in Simon's town, only twelve. And the reason why they remained in Simon's town was because the oppressive force, the government that seized properties, needed them because they had some certain skills that were required. So you were allowed to continue to live here because of the skills that you have, you see? Otherwise you too would have been packed out of time. So when this when this the Muslims of Simon's town, when they look at that boat, and of course you know when I use the word boat I mean a house. When I look at my boat out there and my heart is bleeding. This is my property. I've lived there for a hundred years. I can't get it back. Surah al kaf of the Quran will come to bring comfort to the heart that not in this age, my son, not in this, this is a different age, my son and my daughter. This is an age in which power lies on foundations that are godless. And power is used to oppress. The only time that you will get back your property is when this power is destroyed. You're not going to get it back to the court. When this power is destroyed and the sun comes up again and there's sunshine on the earth and the rain falls and washes away all this filth Hmm? And that will come only at the end of history. When Nabi Isa alayhi salam returns and he kills the Jal. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroys Gog and Magog. Osama bin Laden can't do it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroys Gog and Magog. And then the Muslim army will do the mopping up operation. And the Islamic State of Israel, Holy Israel, will be restored. That would be the Khilafah in Jerusalem. And at that time, the world will then experience the world that they had at the time of Zulkarnay. <coughs> okay, what's the time? Anybody? Yeah, 1040. 10.40? Yeah. Is that so? Yeah. And the photograph is at 11? Mm. We only have 20 minutes. Okay. Yes. So let us pause for questions.